Meraki just announced a brand new lineup of products, IoT sensors, and today we're going to talk about them. So if you like these types of videos, you like it in the latest updates on Cisco products and Meraki, remember to hit that subscribe button. And if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. So on today's episode, guys, we're going to go in. I'm going to talk about the three new sensors that Meraki just released. There's a water sensor, there's a door open and close sensor, and then there's a temperature and humidity sensor. So I'm going to take over the website, show you guys what these products are, and then hopefully maybe in a couple weeks or so, I'll be able to get some of these things into my home office, tear them apart, and give you guys a rundown on them. So for now, let's head over to my web browser and we'll show you what these new so before we get into these three sensors that Meraki just released, the first question is, what is Meraki doing releasing these types of IoT sensors? The market is flooded. I've been doing this in my house for the last five years. There's so many consumer grade types of these products out there. I've, had, I've got leak detection sensors in my basement. I've got smart uh, wall outlets in the rest of my house. And I think the answer to that is, yeah, the market is flooded on the consumer side, but on the enterprise side, there really isn't anything. You know, if you tried to bring these consumer grade products into the enterprise, I think they'd fail miserably. Think about how we have to do it today inside of our own houses. You buy one of these smart plugs or water leak detection sensors, you either walk up to the device, you hold down a button, it flashes some sort of SSID, you jump on it, and then you program it using their application, and then you get back off, and then you gotta go do that for every single one of these types of devices that are out there. And yeah, that's fine for your house and maybe you own a cottage or something like that. But for managing 20 different locations with those types of sensors is going to be miserable. And I don't even know if you, if that's possible on some of these consumer grade products like that. There's not really going to be a good dashboard for you to go in, look at all your different locations, all your different sites and see what's going on. You know, the other way is too, a lot of these products need their own special gateways and they're using protocols like Zigbee out that are out there. And they're just difficult and they're never really meant for the enterprise. And I think Meraki is the first company that's come along here to make this super simple and easy to deploy. Now, all these sensors actually work off of BLE, so that's your Bluetooth low energy. And they use existing Meraki cameras or existing Meraki access points. And I'll show you guys the compatibility here in a second on which ones are supported here but you don't need to put in a special gateway or anything else like that. You don't need to go out to every single one of these sites and hold down a button and let it flash some sort of weird SSID that are out there. You can literally deploy these sensors out, drop them in. They're going to start talking to the gateway. You claim them just like any other device out there with Meraki and they start working and you can manage them and monitor them right from the same Meraki dashboard that you're used to. So, with that, let's go over some of the different sensors that Meraki put together. So first up on the list is the Meraki MT20. Let's go ahead and click on it and we'll zoom in on this. So this is going to be a two part sensor. We've got the bigger portion on the left and then the smaller one on the right. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach the bigger portion to where the door jam is, the molding, or maybe just off to the side of that. And then we've got the smaller part there that sticks on the actual door that does the swinging opening and closing. Uh, they work by magnets, so we know when the magnets kind of come closer together that the door is shut. And then when it swings open, that means that the door is obviously open. So we, we know that you'll get an alert in your dashboard that the door was open or the door was closed. Now this works off of a double A battery. So you throw a double A battery in here, Meraki gives you the batteries and supposedly they last for five years. And if it does end up getting a little bit low, you'll get an alert inside your dashboard that the batteries are low. So I'm gonna go in there, pop off the battery cover and throw a new battery in there. Talking about the gateways or how these things actually talk back to the Meraki dashboard. I mentioned they use BLE, so your Bluetooth low energy and they're compatible with talking to any of the MR36s, 45s, 46s, you know, 76s, 86s, all these access points that you guys see here. And if you have a camera nearby, they could even talk to those cameras. So we could talk to an MV12, a 32, a 22, and a 72. You can place these anywhere. If you've got an area where you wanna make sure people aren't uh, coming in, or you just wanna see who's coming in and coming out throughout a day, you can do that. You can put a camera up there to actually capture the person's picture as they open the door. 
You can use these things on server racks. You want to make sure that server racks are staying closed. Well, when was the last time it was open? And you can get alerts on that, that someone's actually opening it right now. So really, you could put these types of sensors on any door that's out there. Next up on the list is going to be the MT-12. I'm just going in order here from the web page. And if we click in and we zoom on the MT-12, this is a water leak detection sensor. This is actually a one part sensor. So you've got this big part here. You attach that to the wall out of the bottom is a eight foot cable. You rope that around. And if water touches that eight foot cable anywhere, bam, sends the alert to the dashboard. You can get a text. You can get an email that water touched it. This works off of, again, AA batteries that Meraki provides, five-year lifespan on the batteries, and you can actually get an optional wall power adapter and plug this thing in if you wanted to. You could put this thing anywhere that you've had issues with water before. You might want to put it underneath the sink. You might want to put it in your data center. That way, if water gets on the floor, you're alerted. If water gets on the top of one of your data center racks, if something's leaking from the ceiling, you get alerts there as well. This thing is going to work off of, again, BLE. And in order to get back to the dashboard, it's going to use the MR36 as the same Meraki access points we talked about with the MT20. And then same thing goes for the cameras. You can use the 12, the 32, the 22, or the 72 as that BLE gateway to get back to the dashboard. So with that, let's get over to the last one. So last on our list here is the MT-10 for now. I'm excited to see where this product line goes and if Meraki decides to release any other products for this. Uh, but the MT-10 is a temperature and humidity type sensor. So I'll zoom in on it just so we can get a better look on it. Again, one part sensor uh, runs off of those AA batteries, five-year lifespan on those batteries. Again, optional power adapter that you can get for these. And I could see this being really useful inside of data centers, inside of wiring closets, where we don't really have a good uh, understanding of what the temperature is doing right, right here and right now in the humidity, right? Your building management system might be able to see some of that, but are you guys getting alerted to it? What's going on in the closet that doubles as a broom closet? You usually don't have temperature sensors in those types of areas. Now it's really simple, really easy to pop these in. And you can send out alerts to anybody. So if you are getting a high reading in a particular closet, you can automatically generate an alert to go to yourself, maybe have it go to maintenance, maybe go to somebody else that should be alerted to it. This again is going to use the MR36s, the 45s, the 46s, all those new access points out there as their BLE gateways or those uh, Meraki cameras out there, just like the other two products. So there you have it. Those are the brand new Meraki MT sensors. Really curious to see where this product line ends up going. I think these things are phenomenal. I think it's really a needed product in a lot of organizations that are out there because there really wasn't a good system out there like this before. So guys, I hope you liked today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you guys have any questions, post them in the comments below. I'm usually pretty quick to get back on there. And thank you, as always, for watching.